What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Nashville Flipper. Another one. Another one. My name is Ray. My name's Dustin. And we got a very special video for today. It's a little bit of a late video. It is. Just because we have some crazy things going on in our lives. Crazy. But we still wanted to do the video, and it is actually a what sold in February video, right, February. Dustin? It is. February, February yeah. was a, a better month than January. A lot better. A lot, a lot better. So we got some great sales that we just wanted to share, and we also have our friend Robert that is also going to share some of his what solds uh, in February. Yep. So if you guys are out there and you want to share some of your what solds in our video, give us a holler yep. and we will feature you on these videos. Just let us know. Let us know. We'll put you in there. All right. So I'll go ahead. Do you want to go ahead and go first, yeah, Dustin? Because Dustin's ahead. loaded. Load he had it. some great stuff that he sold yep. in the month of February that he just wants to share with everybody. And mm -hmm. it's absolutely loaded. So go ahead. D. First, one of the first sales this month, or in February, sorry, is these Leviton GFCI uh, plugs, the four pack of them. And this guy actually bought two. So I, got, I sold them for $54 for two packs of the, so a total of eight he bought, um, $5 a piece. But these are super, these are a bolo for sure. Quick sell, super quick flips. If you see them, Leviton GFCI, any GFC, I, I guess GFC plugs, it's the ones that, you know, on and off, they sell really quick. So definitely keep an eye out for those. So yeah, $54 for those and all in $10. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the things that I sold in the month of February, I actually found these boots, not a Gimme 5, but I actually found these in our old store, Bargain Hunt, oh, which wow. is kind of a scratch and dent. I happened to waltz in there one day, something told me to go in there mm -hmm. and I found these snow these uh, Northside Men's Waterproof uh, Insulated Winter Boots. Okay. And uh, they were on clearance, and they actually bought them for $7, and I sold them for 30 There you go. So. Profit. Mm -hmm. All profit right there. We actually got a bundle right here. We got a couple of $50 items that I've sold, and I'm just going to name them off. Let's go with the first one. We got a... 20 megapixel trail camera 4k camera grm i don't never heard of the brand T tried it there's a couple of them that have sold and other has sold as well posted it sold it for 50 got it for five dollars give me five um that's a good one trail cameras or any cameras sell really well as yeah. well um i agree next one we got an actual this is a really cool one it was a i don't know really how to say it say the name Meyerton knife TF377 is the model. Sold that sucker for 50 and that brand is actually well known. It's like a fishing knife. Oh, so, it's a knife. Yeah, yeah that's right. Fishing knife. It's got, I don't know. Yeah, with the whale on the yeah, logo. With the whale. It's got a little like kind of pick at the end. I don't know what the pick does. I guess maybe clean the fish or something like that. Maybe, or maybe get the hook out or something. Uh, maybe. I'm not yeah. really too sure, but sold it for 50. Um, super good deal on that. And then this one is actually like our Revlon brushes that we get. Different brand. It's called Hot Tools. That's right. Sold it for forty nine ninety nine, and that was used. Used one or new ones are going like closer to sixty seventy dollars. Oh wow! So yeah, Hot Tools definitely be a lookout when you're out and about sourcing whatever. That's a for sure Bolo brand as well. Oh awesome! So yeah, that's all the really the fifty dollar ones um, right now. So awesome! What you got? I got uh, one of the things that I sold that I picked up at Gimme Five was actually the um, Dyson vacuum cyclone top mm -hmm. you know uh that i found that part for i, I give me five yeah. five dollars i actually sold it for 45 dollars so yep. it's just a dyson part mm -hmm. and um if you guys are out there and look for dyson part mm -hmm. vacuums they sell really well uh because they're expensive vacuums and if right. they break people just fix them up yep. and replace them because they're expensive so yeah. so we're going to take this time we're going to show you some of robert's yep what sold uh, items that you sold in the month of mm -hmm. February. So take it away, Robert. Hey guys, this is Robert Stewart. I'm here uh, just to go through my February of what sold. I sold a total of 86 items and I had a mix of uh, some liquidation stores, thrift stores, and retail arbitrage items. First item that we'll, we'll talk about is something I picked up for $40 at a thrift store here in Knoxville, Tennessee. It's a Cricut 
um, Explore Air die cutting machine. Bought it for about 40 bucks. Sold it that night for $116 with free shipping. Not the best profit, but uh, definitely a bolo out there. If you see it, get it. There are people that go crazy over these cricket or cry cut or however you, exp uh, you know, however you say that word. Next item is a retail arbitrage item. Uh, in here locally, we had a pet safe that was closing down. So items were marked 50, some to all the way down to 75% off. Pet safe is a great brand. It's even, you know, uh, um, headquarters here in Tennessee, but they uh, do wireless fences, wireless dog shock collars, all that stuff. They don't like to call it shock collars, but, uh, I picked up this wireless fence set, sold it for two thirty nine nine. I think I picked it up for 110. Uh, I always do free shipping. So that was there. And then the last item I want to talk about is these, um, these 3D pencils. I've never seen anything like it, but I came across at a store, a liquidation store called Gimme a Five. Uh, picked up 13 of them because they look neat, five bucks a piece, and I sold them all within two weeks at around $47.99 a piece with free shipping. And I actually had some that went overseas. Uh, I haven't had a problem with them, haven't heard anything back from anybody, so I think they're all good. And um, uh, February was a great month, better than De um, January, and I think even better than December. I think I'm uh, zoning in on what I want to sell and, and what items to pick up. So if you see uh, cry cut machines, pet safe, or these little 3D pencils, pick them up. All right, so we are back, and that's back. some of Robert's what sold in February. Mm -hmm. Rachel did an interview with him and a, an interview with the flipper. Yep. So if you guys want to see that interview, we'll put it down in the description below. So let's get back to it, Dustin. Get back at it. We got this one's a cool one. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, I can't believe you got that much for it. I'm surprised too, but yeah. hey, I'll take it. Um, we got a Nintendo Amiibo Super Mario Odyssey wedding set. It was the three pack of Mario. Peach and Bowser. Um, there's actually some that are going for a lot more. A like lot pristine, more? Like pristine, like yeah. over $100. Because that one was like beat up. Yeah, right? the box was kind of open a little bit. Figures are still new. Um, been sitting for a while. Took an offer, came in. It was pretty close locally, so shipping wasn't going to be that bad. Sold it for $48, got it for $5. Awesome. Give me 5 of course. So. Sweet. That so, was a great fun. I'm going to stick to the vacuum stuff. Vacuum. Okay. I actually found the same day I found this other part for a Dyson vacuum. It's the uh, a genuine OEM Dyson vacuum cleaner head. It's not to the same vacuum of the other thing, but uh, it's something different. Just the head. It was real light. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sold it for $59.99. So, yep. see anything Dyson out there, Dyson. even if it's parts, make sure to pick it up. Mm -hmm. I actually saw that at a local Lowe's. Really? That kind of, that, and I was like, dang, that's the head net race though. But oh, it's wow. like a Dyson. That thing was pretty, it was pretty expensive yeah. for mm. sure. Um, but speaking of parts, we got a Dorman 599 210, that's part number, HVAC climate control module. And I think it's for like an older GMC trucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I was finding. And I took a chance on those, opened up, sold it as used because it looked like maybe someone tried it. Maybe you got the wrong one or something like that and returned it. Mm. Sold it for seventy. Wow. That's great. Yeah. So got it for five. That's fantastic. There you go. Sweet. You got another one? So I only got two left. Two left? I can mm. go. I can go one more. I can go one more? Well, it'll be good. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Cool. So another thing that I sold in the month of February, I actually, um, this was in the bundle of different um, internet routers that I bought back. Mm -hmm. I can't remember even when when I went to that auction. Right. So I bought a bundle of different uh, routers, and this was mm -hmm. one of the routers in in the bundle. And I actually, this was the first one that I sold in the month of February, and I sold the rest of them in March. Right. But I think I spent thirty dollars on the bundle of five different routers. Oh wow, that's a good yeah. Deal. And then yeah. I uh, so I sold this one. It's a Netgear Nighthawk okay. smart Wi-Fi router. I sold it for fifty nine ninety nine, mm -hmm. and uh, surprisingly, this was not the most expensive router in there. I thought this was going to be the big yeah. money, but surprisingly enough, there was another one that was kind of smaller yeah. that was worth way more than this okay. one. Okay. So uh, I actually sold that one in March. So stay tuned for that Ooh. video. Curious what's sold to see in which March. one it is. Exactly. Sure, but those Nighthawks, they're great for gaming as well. Oh really? Yep. A lot that's of people get that's those. That's probably for why it, it says on their gaming streaming. Uh, uh, router, so yeah. that's probably why it sold really well. 
All right, speaking of electronic, we'll keep it on electronic uh, right here. We got a Lenovo ThinkPad Ultra Docking Station. And this was like a Japanese version I found out, but after talking to Lenovo, it's exact same version. So put it up there, said what it was, told them, put in the description, same as US version. Sold it that day I posted it for 140. Wow. Got it for $5, it gave me five. Yeah, Never and we used. thought it was gonna be like a ThinkPad or a yeah. laptop or something and like that. I, we were a little bummed out. We were, but still, for $140 for a five dollar item, can't can't beat it. Can't beat can't it. Can't beat it at all. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and go one more. One more. Okay. One more. This this is getting into the the pretty big stuff. We got a way safe drop hitch, two and a half inch. It's for I guess if you're loading like trailers and stuff like that. And I'm trying to think. It has a little scale on it to where it lets you know how much weight you're carrying. So, really? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And I was like, there's no way it's gonna sell for this. There's no way, who's gonna buy a hitch for this much? Sold it for $245. That's amazing. Got it for five bucks, they give me five. It was super heavy, but fit in a medium flat rate and got it out super cheap. Mm. So that was one of my bigger sales in Paperboy for that's sure. That's great. So, yeah, that was, that was, that's not your biggest sale it's though, not right? that's coming up all right so i actually sold this um this item that i've had in my death pile since summer yeah summer i've told since, you gotta get on that since summer and um surprisingly enough i think it's increased in value a little bit because did you sell yours for that much it was not that it was close, but not that much. Okay. It was still a pretty good amount though. Yeah, so I actually, we actually found this uh, Microsoft Connect sensor for the Xbox One, new in box, at a garage sale. The lady had two of them. Dustin yeah. bought one, I bought one, but we ended up bundling ours with a bunch of different things. Yeah. I can't remember what we paid for the bundle. I think I might've spent like $40. Yeah. It was like, yeah. I got this and like a Kindle. And some other mm -hmm. stuff. That thirty forty dollars. Yeah. So I um, actually sold this for one hundred and ninety dollars. Wow. Which is crazy. It's almost well, as much as an Xbox One. That's crazy. That's in, that's kind of insane. But they're not making those anymore. They're not making and them that's anymore. That's why. Um, okay. And I want to say I might have sold mine for like one seventy then, mm -hmm. but still, it, it that it increased in value just in that short period of time. Yeah. And I had it for I had it for one ninety ninety nine. Yeah. Or best offer, and someone paid one ninety ninety nine. Yeah. They paid and usually the, on something like that. People throw in best offer, which yeah, I'm surprised because it's a lot. So I think that's so. what someone did with mine. I think I might have had it up for a lot, and someone mm -hmm. did that. So. so that's good. So that was my like largest uh, largest sale yeah. in the month of February. And now we're in. I guess we're in March. I just went blank. We're in March. Oh, I know that, but. Uh, the find of the month. The is find the, of the month. Are we are we uh, setting out a new term? I think we're. The flip we of need the to month. Do that. The flip of the month. Find of the month. We'll, what do you think? we'll get back to you. We'll get back to you sure. on that. But let us know probably, down there in the comments which one you would like. Better. Yeah, for sure. Definitely let us know. Um, so this is probably one of the craziest things we've probably. Oh, so between crazy. Both of us. Found. I can't believe when you called me and you found that. Yeah. I was like, and then what? the next day you sold it. I was like, what are you talking yeah. about? I know. So I found it's a Epax branded 3D resin printer. I looked it up. I was like, it's gonna be expensive. It was actually from Bar. It had a sticker from Bargain Hunt, but got it. Give me five for five bucks. Um, but they retail brand new. It actually happened to drop the price. I looked it up one day, it was like 530, so I put it up for a certain price. And the next day they dropped the price on clearance to 454. So I kind of matched my pre-owned price to that. And as soon as I did that, sold it immediately. Sold it to someone in Georgia, super cheap to ship off. Sold it for 329.99. Wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. Yep. I thought it was and you, super expensive. No returns, but, left no. your review, good review yep, and everything. Good review, great review. They said they were actually going to plan on replacing some of the parts anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think it's someone that actually worked on the printers. So there we go. Yeah. I think that was like a perfect buyer for something like this because you always kind of have that gut feeling like when you sell something that expensive on something electronic like that, mm -hmm. like yeah, are they like, going to say it doesn't work and want to return it or something mm -hmm. like that? So luckily they didn't. and. Sold it for three thirty. That's awesome. So there we go. That's yeah, February. That's it was great. Fi Feb fire. Fire February. Fire February. Yeah. We'll give it four fires. Four. Out of four. Yeah, because for the month of February. Yeah. Or four out, or five out of five fires. Yeah. 
We'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. Five out of five fires. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, if February is good, hopefully March is pretty th getting there. Yeah, it's getting there, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see what March we'll see. brings us. So, guys, thank you so much for stopping by yep. and uh, and liking this video. I yeah. hope that you got some something from this video. I hope yeah. that you saw some items that you might not thought of be thought of before that yep. to go and buy or some or brands value. maybe exactly mm -hmm. or some brands. Yep. So uh, make sure you hit the like button. Thumbs up. Thumbs up and subscribe subscribe and hit the bell notification and if you guys have anything that you sold in the month of february that you want us to know about please yep. put down in the comments because we Absolutely. would love to hear about that for right, sure because i think it helps everybody for sure so just that way we know what to look for we we'll see brands out there as well from mm -hmm. other, what other people have sold so we kind of help each other out in a way yeah so when we do yeah, that yeah, yeah. so it'll be for great sure. for sure so guys thank you again for stopping by and uh my name is ray my name's dustin and we'll catch you on the flip side the flip side see y'all god bless peace, peace.